So 2019 was my second year as a full-time real estate agent and I closed 30 transactions. 11 of those transactions discovered me from my YouTube channel. That worked out to a little over $100,000 in GCI just from my YouTube leads. But lead generation is not the only thing that I use video for. And today I'm gonna outline the six different ways that I use video in my real estate business. Hey, real quick, this channel is all about helping real estate agents use YouTube for lead generation. So if that interests you, you should really consider subscribing. So obviously for the first way that I use video in my business is for lead generation. And there's actually a few different ways you can go about generating leads through videos. For starters, you can go on Facebook or you can go on YouTube. You can go organic or you can go with paid advertisements. So out of the two platforms, I prefer YouTube and I also prefer organic versus paid. Now there's an argument to be made for running ads on YouTube to get more exposure in your local market for your videos. But I gotta be honest, free is my favorite price. So how do you generate organic leads for free on YouTube? Well, honestly, that's a pretty deep topic right there. Maybe the subject of another video. But the short answer is when people search for something like moving to Maryland or living in Maryland or moving to Annapolis, Maryland, my YouTube videos rank on the first page of Google for those search terms. And this is incredibly powerful in how many of my clients are now discovering me. And of course, people are also discovering me from my other videos that I make specifically about Maryland or specifically about my city. So the next way I use video in my business is to increase my lead conversion. And I actually do this in several different ways using direct videos as well as pre-recorded videos. So let me give you a quick example. Let's say I have a new lead and they're heading to Andrews Air Force Base, which is a big base here in Maryland. And all I have is an email address. So the first thing I would do is I'd send them an email and I would include a link to my video all about Andrews Air Force Base. If they're interested in moving to Waldorf, which is a city really close to it, I'd send them my video all about Waldorf, Maryland. If they plan on using the VA loan, I send them my video all about using the VA loan. So now it's gone from me and him exchanging very impersonal and formal emails to now he's seeing my face, he's hearing my voice, and he's connecting with me on a much, much deeper level because of that. So oftentimes I like to create a video for the specific purpose of using it as a tool that I can email to somebody to help increase my lead conversion down the road. Another way I use video to increase my lead conversion is through video text messages. So both on Android and iOS, you can send video text messages for free. You don't need any special app to do that. So let's say I get a new Facebook lead, I call them up and of course they don't answer. So I'm still gonna leave a voicemail, but the next step is I'm gonna pull out my phone and send them a video text message. Hey Bob, sorry I missed you. My name's Malcolm Lawson. I just wanna put a face to the name. I saw you're looking at homes on my website. I just wanna give you a quick courtesy call, see if you had any questions. Do me a favor and text me back when would be a good time for us to talk and I can see how I can help you out. And of course you have video emails which I send occasionally as well. Now you have paid options like BombBomb which you can use, but there's also many free options out there for video email as well. The one that I use is called Video Email for Gmail and it is a Google Chrome extension. So Chrome extension, if you're not familiar, is a program that you actually install on the Chrome browser. And this particular one only works on Gmail and it gives me a little camera icon when I open up a new email. If I just click on that, I can then record and embed a video right into my email. So the next way I use video in my business is to get more agent referrals. Sometimes I actually do have real estate agents that find me through my YouTube channel and have referrals for me. When real estate agents are searching for an agent to give a referral to in my area, sometimes they find my YouTube videos which show that I am a subject matter expert in this area and then they reach out to me with a referral. And then other times an agent will be looking on Facebook or through my brokerage and I can use my videos to show my credibility to that agent. For example, if an agent was looking for a waterfront specialist in Annapolis, Maryland, I can send them my video about the waterfront laws and regulations here in Maryland, as well as my video about moving to Annapolis. So my videos are helping me prove my credibility to other real estate agents. So the next way I use video in my business is to get more past client referrals. So many agents send out a monthly newsletter to their past clients. But the truth is a lot of those monthly emails are pretty boring and probably have very low open rates. So what I do is I use MailChimp to send out my monthly newsletter and I embed my videos into the email. I also try to put out four new videos every single month. 
So every month when they open up that monthly newsletter, they know they're gonna get four new videos from me. So my open rate is much higher and I'm connecting with my database at a much deeper level because instead of just seeing my picture at the bottom of the email, now they're seeing my face or hearing my voice. And a lot of times when my database does recommend me to their family and friends, what they actually do is send those people one of my YouTube videos. So the next way I use video is to get more sphere of influence referrals. Now this one I'm really specifically talking about, Facebook. So I know personally I probably have 100 to 150 friends and family members in this area that are connected with me on Facebook. So like I said, once a week I am publishing a new video and uploading those videos to Facebook. And if you don't know this yet, Facebook is making a big push towards video and video posts do way better than just a text post or an image post. So that's once a week that my SOI is seeing me in their newsfeed. I'm staying top of mind and I'm showing them my credibility as a real estate agent through my educational videos. Probably the last way, one of the most impactful ways that I use video in my business is to sell my listings. And there's really two effective ways that I go about doing this. The first one is with a Zillow video tour. I just wanna point out that I'm not just saying a video tour, I'm saying a Zillow video tour, which is different. This is a video tour that is uploaded directly to Zillow. And the power of a Zillow video tour is that Zillow has an algorithm of how it ranks properties. So let's say somebody searches for three bedrooms, two bathrooms, between four and $500,000 in Annapolis, Maryland. There may be a hundred homes that meet that criteria, but Zillow is going to rank the listings with a Zillow video tour tour higher in that search than ones that do not have a Zillow video tour. And this is incredibly powerful to get more exposure for your listing on the world's largest real estate consumer website. In fact, this is actually a pretty big part of my listing presentation that I know how to influence the Zillow algorithm to get more exposure for my listings. Now there's two ways to get a Zillow video tour. The first way is that you can download their Premier Agent app and you can manually create a two minute video tour of the property on your phone using their app. The second way is that you can get a Zillow approved photographer to do a video tour for you and they can edit that on their computer, add some music to it and then upload up to a five minute video on Zillow. Now the other way that I use video to sell my listings is with Facebook ads. I'll create a short video tour of the property and then run it as a Facebook ad in that county with a link back to that listing on my website. And I've absolutely sold listings that at the closing table, I asked the buyer, how did you discover this listing? And they tell me they saw a video on Facebook. So this really can work. So a couple tips are doing a Facebook ad of a video tour is that you don't wanna give the price in the ad. You don't wanna give too much detail. Make them click on the link to go to your website before they can get that information. You also want it to be a pretty short and quick video. You wanna make more of a teaser rather than an all-inclusive video tour of every single square foot of that property. And lastly, try to work yourself into the video as much as you can. In my experience, a listing video with an agent in it keeps the viewer's attention longer than a video without anybody in it. Hey, if you wanna learn more about how to use video for lead generation, check out this playlist right here of a few of my other videos. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. I'll see you guys over in the next video.